Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary, and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while, and clicked the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to do a quickie eye look video with Miss Pat McGrath. And this is the Deep Space Divinity, which came out with the Celestial Odyssey collection. What was that, two years ago? She is launching, is it on the 30th or the 31st? Her new collection for her bronzers, and there is a quad that we are getting in that collection. So I thought, let me pull out one of her quads, use it, do a quickie eye look in honor of the new launch coming up. So here it is. Let's get started on the side look. Okay, FYI, I went to go get my lip fillers retouched. In case you didn't know, I do get some lip fillers. It's nothing extravagant. They're a little bit swollen. I think the elevation definitely has a lot to do with that because I feel like they're usually not this swollen. Last time I had a needle to my lips was in June of last year. So that's over six months, nine months since my last poke. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to dip into this palette first. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this shade in my transition. This is the Velvet Liaison from her last collection that she released. This is a Ofra brush. It came in a set, so I don't even know exactly what the name of this brush is. It's just like a big fluffy. I like using this one to just really blow out whatever shade I'm adding. Oh my goodness, are you all excited for her new launch or do you just not care? <laughs> I wonder if anything's gonna sell out because I feel like it's been over a year and a half since she's last given us a quad. Okay, now we're going to jump into the quad and we're gonna start with this burgundy shade. That's one of the main reasons why I went into the all matte palette. This is a BK Beauty 202. I'm dipping kind of lightly into it because I don't want too much pigment right off the bat. We are going to the grocery store after this. Gosh, my kids are on one. Oh, so if I sound flustered or anything, <laughs> it's just, I feel like the last couple of days, they've just been, I guess, testing me. <laughs> Everything and anything that they can do, they are doing it, so. This mama's struggling over here, you know? Hubby's back at work, so it's just me solo, and it can be a lot sometimes. Okay, do you see that blend? I know there are some people out there who just, for some reason, either don't like or like Pat McGrath's uh, matte formula doesn't, doesn't blend out just seamlessly like I experience, but that just looks so pretty. Now I'm going to jump into a tiny bit of this one, which is like the shifty shade in this quad. I'm not doing a lot, just a tiny bit. And I also did put down some glitter glue, my trusty NYX glitter glue. I don't want any fallout. It's so pretty, so, so pretty. I honestly have not picked up this quad probably since I reviewed it, maybe once after I reviewed it, but I have not picked it up. And I don't know why, cause it's gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to do a tiny bit of a mixer roux. I'm going to mix these two shades. I feel like this one's just a tiny bit too dark for what I actually want. And if I mix it in with this one, which is lighter, it should work. So I'm going to dip into the dark one first, lay that down, and then I'll go over it with the lighter one and just kind of mix the shades. Yeah, because this one's like a bronzy brown. So now with my middle finger, I'm adding that lighter shade and just pretty much go back and forth between both fingers. See how it lightened it up just a tiny bit. Okay, this is what it's looking like so far. I actually don't even wanna use that one for the inner corner. I feel like for some reason in this palette, it's maybe a tiny bit more on like the yellow side. 
not my favorite for inner corner so i'm going to jump back into the velvet liaison and i'm going to jump in to the lightest shade and use that for my inner corner i'm using this natasha denona draw and diffuse brush she came out with this when she released um those liners and i think that um five pan black and gray palette okay so let me go ahead and finish off and i will be back to show you the completed eye look okay my lovelies hair is down nice and done i decided just to do mascara only on the top lashes not on the lower lashes i also didn't use any liner i think i mentioned it in the Surat video and another one i haven't really been wearing eyeliner i just haven't I'm not sure why <laughs> And for everything else, I'll go ahead and link it down below, foundation, all that other good stuff. But for the lips, I did go in to this MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in Oak and this Bridgerton Lipstick. It's that Satin Allure formula in Negligé. I do enjoy this lipstick. The formula is really, really nice. Okay, but yeah, here is the look with this little quad. Deep Space Divinity from the Celestial Odyssey collection. I honestly need to pick this palette up more. It's so pretty. I'm gonna look extra glam for the grocery store, but it is what it is. Okay, let me know down below if you own this quad and if you enjoy it. I think the main reason I don't pick it up as much is because of that blue shifty shade. It's like a purple or burgundy with a blue shift. I feel like most brands, when they start dipping into like the shifty shades, like the duochromes, this is one of the first shades that they pretty much develop. But this eye look is beautiful and I feel like you can tone it down a tiny bit like I have with just mascara and leaving the lower lash line bare as far as mascara and eyeliner goes. But you can really vamp it up by putting on some falsies and maybe a liquid liner. Okay, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. All the likes, all the comments. If you use my links, it seriously just means so much to me. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will love to have you. Okay, I will see you on the next video. Bye.